so hi everyone today we'll be discussing on uh, how shift reduce parsing or the arc standard method works to develop a dependency parsing tree uh, so if you haven't seen my previous section on dependency parsing tree and what is parsing what is syntactic parsing do look uh, do go and watch that so for a better understanding so to start off with shift reduce parsing we need three major things one is a stack uh, this one uh, a buffer of input words so basically uh, this buffer uh, has all the words that uh, or the sentence for which we wish to create a dependency parsing tree and then oracle function oracle function is more of a machine learning model that i will be discussing later in the uh, video so let's get started so how this entire shift reduce parsing works so what we are doing is that initially in the stack we have a dummy variable called as root now what we are doing we are reading out words from the input buffer one by one and as in the stack we have two at least two tokens we pick out the two top tokens s1 and s2 we feed it to the oracle function and we try to determine three major transitions so there are majorly three classes that we're trying to determine so as of now let's understand it in that way only uh, so what are the three transitions one is left arc function so it predicts a head dependent relationship between the top word and the second top word right and it removes the dependent out of this left arc function now so uh, if you remember uh, the left arc function left fun left arc function means that the the relationship that we are having is uh, the top word is the head and the second word in the stack is the dependent so we are we are declaring a left arc function and then we are removing the dependent that is the second word from the stack similarly the right arc function uh, is the vice versa of left arc function where it asserts that uh, we have a head dependent relationship between the second word in the stack and the word at the top so the word at the top now becomes a dependent and is removed from the stack and third is shift that means ki there is no uh, no relationship exists between the two words uh, you don't need to worry i will be following an example for a better understanding now uh, so the oracle once uh, the oracle functions predicts two things for us one is the transition shift left arc or right arc and the relationship type also uh, like as we saw uh, n subject uh, conjugation i object etc so the uh, oracle function is determining two things for us one is the direction of the arc or no arc or second thing is the relationship between the two words n subject the different classes that we have so it's a combination of the two so the actual prediction may look something like this left arc underscore i object right arc underscore conjugation etc so but just for the simplicity purpose i have written key left arc and right arc so that you can understand now when we will be stopping once the buffer is completely empty and the stack has just the root variable as you remember we are putting a dummy variable uh, so once you're putting that root variable and the root variable is only present and the buffer is also empty that we have all that we have uh, pushed uh, pulled out all the words from the stack then we would be stopping out so there are a few restrictions that we can have so there won't be a left arc when we have root as the second element of the stack at least two elements should be in the stack for the left and right arc transition that makes sense because the relationship between two words and root can never be a dependent variable as you discussed earlier also the oracle function is a model trained on training data set extracted from dependency tree banks so as i was talking out ki how are we getting this oracle function so oracle function is basically trained on some uh, annotated data set uh, so uh, a tree bank is majorly a text corpus only and uh, where each sentence has been labeled using syntactic parsing or manually marked by human so this can be labeled data we have generated anyhow so oracle function is basically an ml based uh, model only so let's go with an example so assume that we have this example uh, book me the morning flight right this is the sentence that we have we wish to create a dependency parsing for this particular uh, for this particular sentence so let's get started so assume that the stack initially has the root uh, and action we will be discussing relationship pattern so the first word is book we will be uh, producing uh, we will be doing an action shift so in this shift we mean that we don't have anything in the stack so we would be just shifting the first word into the stack so root book and this word has been removed from the buffer so word list is nothing but buffer again as we don't have two tokens in it root is a dummy variable we'll be again doing a shift now we get root book me the morning flight now as we have two tokens in the stack now we will be uh, we will be using our oracle function 
so we have, will pick out the top two elements the first the top element is me and the second element in the stack is book so we predicted a right arc this time so a right arc means that uh, the head is book and me is dependent just try to imagine this entire picture you will get it uh, how it is a right arc and not a left arc and vice versa so as i told you earlier that once we predict a right arc we need to remove the dependent from the stack so me has been eliminated from the stack now so in the stack we now have book and the word list we have the morning flight and we have got a relationship a uh, book to me uh, we are missing out on the tags as of now uh, just for a uh, clear understanding so there would be a tag also getting predicted by the oracle next we push in uh, the because again we don't have uh, two tokens so we won't be doing a left arc or right arc prediction we will be just shifting to the stack so we now have uh, root comma book uh, comma the morning flight now uh, on feeding this book and the to the oracle we got that ki there, are, there is no relationship present as I told you so again we were doing a shift morning root book the morning and uh, word, the buffer has flight only now flight has also been pushed because the morning doesn't have a relationship according to this according to the oracle so now in the end we have the, the entire buffer is empty and we, in the stack we've got root book the morning flight now what we'll be doing that we will be picking out the, again we will again checking for the top two elements that is morning flight we have predicted a left arc now now by the left arc uh, we mean that our head becomes our flight and morning becomes our dependent as we told that the dependent has to be eliminated from the stack so morning has been eliminated from the stack now again we will be picking up the top two elements that is the flight again a left arc has been predicted so the will again be removed root book flight now a right arc has been predicted between the top two elements that is book and flight so flight is now removed root uh, root and book are left now root and book we have got a right arc so uh, uh, we have got a right arc so now book is also eliminated and root is left so this is how we have got all the relationships in the uh, dependency parsing and the stack is empty and the algorithm ends up here only